However, I do find it interesting that a lot of people confuse MOSFET based clipping with the MOSTORTION. And this is because the MOSTORTION is using an op amp that's MOSFET based. On the MOSTORTION, the op amp was a MOSFET based op amp, yet it used clipping diodes to actually clip the signal and to give that overdrive sound. But me being the type of person that I am, I wanted to see what it would sound like if I used actual MOSFET clipping, not as diodes, but as actual gain stages in clipping the signal in an entirely different way using actual MOSFETs. In late 2022, I made a video about the MOS Storchen pedal, and probably more specifically the MOS Storchen circuit, a uh, vintage Ibanez pedal. And at the time, even though there were a few MOS Storchen based clones on the market, there was, a, there was really not anything to what I was personally looking for, so I kind of build a breadboard and the breadboard of the circuit and made a video about it because it was fun. And in this video, what I really kind of did, I, I was trying to make something, I'm always trying to make something different or better in some way, better arguably, right? But different in this way because the, the MOSTORTION circuit is based around a MOSFET op amp, but it uses clipping diodes to get the gain, which I mean, that's fine, but it's not really what I would call a MOSFET circuit necessarily. What I did in this video is I took actual MOSFET gain stages and kind of turned this pedal, this quote unquote pedal, into something completely different that actually used MOSFET gain stages. And um, see, like everyone really liked it in the comments. So a few people asked me to make it and guess what? I did. So we're going to dive through the circuit aspect here in just a minute. I'm going to kind of go walk you through the, uh, the circuit blocks of things. But first of all, let's run through it. Let's play through it. I'll show you a little bit about what it does, just a few different settings. And uh, then we'll go back to the fun nerd stuff. So typically this type of circuit is generally used more for lighter gain. So think of like a Marshall Blues Breakery type of, type of circuit. It's not that but it's often used sort of in the same way, meaning, you know, just a little bit of grit, just a little bit of dirt on a clean tone. So that's probably one of the most popular ways people use it, especially like in Nashville circles. Now, like I said, I really wanted to get something that was more crunchy, something that had a little bit more feel to it because that base core circuit of that Mostortion is just diode clipping, basically just soft clipping from from diodes, and uh, while it does a thing, I just wanted to kind of put my own spin on it. So I look, I look at pedals a lot like music um, in a way that, like, let's say you're recording an album and you put on a cover song and you record it, and it's great and you love it, and let's say people dig it and they think it's wonderful, but there's just something missing where you're like, ah, I wish I would have added like my own thing to it. I wish I would have added my own spin to this cover song rather than just doing it exactly like what it's known for. And I look at pedals a lot the same way. So even when we do clone based stuff, you'll find that I usually try to put the stock circuit in there somewhere, but I really try to put a lot more things that it can do. So it can, um, you know, it could be something different. It's not just the same old uh, type of, you know, clone based circuit on whatever it, it's doing. Let's go through this. I'm running through the Bravado amp. So think of a clean fenderish type of platform. And uh, we'll start here on this setting. This setting is going to be the base Mostortion style circuit. So I know I'm using Mostortion. It's because it's not really based on anything else. It's just that type of circuit.
So from here, I'm going to add the texture switch in. Now this is going to change it into that MOSFET based circuit. So meaning even though it's a te technically a MOSFET based circuit because it's using a MOSFET based op amp, it's still, I'm diverting the signal through the normal part of the circuit, uh, kind of away from it, and then going into a series of MOSFETs, which are then clipping. And why do this? Because those cascaded gain stages kind of sort of are analogous, are analogous to what you would do with tubes. So you're, you're clipping the uh, signal by shoving a bunch of signal through it. The MOSFET's not really able to amplify it anymore and therefore it distorts it. And you put a couple of those in series and you get even more distortion. So even in tube amps, that's how we kind of do it. You add more tube stages, you get more gain. And sort of the same thing with MOSFET or JFET or really a lot of transistor type of cascaded gain stages. And this is no different. So stock circuit's down and the modified circuit is up. I'll start down so you can kind of get a feel for it. And it's, it's really hard to kind of get a feel for what it's doing because changing into these MOSFETs is really, it's a lot of a feel thing. There is a difference in sound, but there's also a huge difference in feel where the stock setting is going to be a little more compressed you're just going to notice kind of a smoothness to kind of everything. And where you put the switch up and you start going through those MOSFETs, now it gets crunchy, now it gets ballsy, now it gets a little beefier. And uh, that's my thing. And being sort of what was kind of originally designed as like that cleanish style overdrive, just roll the gain all the way down. And then you now have a three band EQ sort of boost. And it's and this type of circuit has quite a bit of headroom on this circuit, on this uh, setting here. So the, the stock circuit, the reason for that MOSFET style op amp was basically because it gives it more headroom. It's, a, it's a, the type of op amp that allows more headroom through it without really doubling the voltage like you'd find in a Klon style pedal or something like that.
So that's just some basics of how personally I would use it. So a little more rocky, probably a little bit, I guess, probably a little too much classic rock, a little too much dad rock for some. Not that it's that kind of thing, but I'm a dad and that's what I do. So let's look at uh, let's look at the circuit blocks here. So we're not going to go into some like super nerdy electrical engineering stuff, but I think it's going to be really handy for us guitar players and us musicians to kind of look at what's going on circuit wise, what's going on with these circuit blocks to make it different than just the standard distortion type circuit. Let's check it out. Let's take a basic look at what's going on here with the stock part of the circuit here. Of course, we have our guitar. That's going into the first gain stage, which is op amp based. That's going into a passive EQ section. And then from there, we go into another, basically just a slight little gain stage here. And from there, we go out to a buffer and then into our guitar amp. When, we, when you turn that texture switch, let me show you what it does. So basically, we still have our input, of course. So we still have the guitar. It's still going through the same first gain stage. So it's still going through that first op amp gain stage. But from there, it's going to go through one MOSFET, and then that's going to amplify it, and it's going to go to another MOSFET. And keep in mind, both these MOSFETs are also now distorting because we've got a ton of signal coming out of this op amp going into this MOSFET. And since this MOSFET here basically can't amplify it enough, it's going to distort. And then it goes on to the next MOSFET, which does the same thing. And that MOSFET says, I can't amplify anymore. I'll give it a try, but I don't think I can do it. And so then it distorts as well. So then after all that clipping, we go into not really, it's not a three band EQ, but it is an EQ stage. So there's both, both low pass filtering and high pass filtering going on to kind of shape the overall EQ right in that little section. So again, not additional tone controls, just whenever you do stuff circuit wise, you tend to, uh, you tend to kind of flavor it in the way that you want. And you do that by multiple different ways. One of those being EQ. That's the EQ just for this additional MOSFET stage there. And then after that, we're going to go into another op amp stage. And then we're going to go back into the three band EQ. That's, you know, the regular part of the pedal circuit. And then we're going to go through another, uh, another gain stage, another slight little gain stage there. And then that goes into the output of the amp. I'm sorry, it goes to the input of the amp. So it goes out into the input of the amp. Fun, exciting stuff. Um, you know, I, I, I love designing circuits like this and I know it's, I know some may ask, well, why the MOSTORTION? Well, it's because there's just not a lot of people that have done the MOSTORTION for one, and there's high prices on the used market. And, um, you know, I, it's one of those circuits, I always wondered why it wasn't more popular. It's incredibly popular in Nashville circuits. And outside of that, you don't hear too many people talk about it that much anymore. But it's a, it's a great platform for a lot of different things. Uh, you can, like, you know, we talked earlier about doing sort of a clean boost thing. You can do that, but you can you can make it distort a lot more. You can make it have all different kinds of flavoring and different types of compression, uh, which when I, not like compression pedal, but like the feel of the clipping circuit itself. So it's just a fun, it's a, just like a fun platform to really mess with. And that's the Mofetta. I hope you dig it. I hope you love it as much as I do. I made this for you because when I made the video just out of having fun, I thought it'd be fun to do. You left me a bunch of comments and asked me to make it a real thing. So I did. And uh, I'm really appreciative. I, I, the way I look at it is that I exist as a pedal builder because of you, because you like the things that I do. And uh, you like the circuits that I put out and the pedals I put out. I, I really appreciate it. So Check it out at your nearest retailer, your local retailer, whoever you prefer to buy from. You can also buy it direct from us at wamplerpedals.com, or you can check out our Reverb store as well. We have some on there as well. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time with a new video.